Hello everyone, it's Sierra, and I'm going to show you a little bit on how I edit the videos for the Channel 62. So, this is the editor we use. It's Final Cut Pro. So, yeah, it does cost $300 on iTunes, but obviously the investment was worth it for us because it makes the videos look so much better. Um, as far as Windows, the only editor that I'm aware of is Windows Live Mo Movie Maker, but I'm sure you can download something from Adobe, I think, has one. And as far as Mac, that's free. Uh, Macs come with iMovie, which is free. So I'm just going to go ahead and start a new project to just kind of show you everything. Keep in mind that... I'll just name this test. Uh, keep in mind that the videos we edit, we edit differently based on the video. So there's not a set way on how we edit the videos. It's just kind of what we think works best for the video. Uh, if you'll notice for our last video, which was the... Uh, five fun ways to stay healthy and active and whatnot. Uh, all the videos were very bright and colorful, and that's because we saturated every clip so that the colors were more vibrant than what they actually were on camera. So how we do that, I'm just going to take part of this clip, is we go over here to this thing. It's the effects. And then find an effect called hue and saturation. We put that on the clip, and right here, you can drag the saturation. Obviously this would be way too much and that would be not enough. So we just kind of do what we think is good for like every clip. That would probably be what I would call good for this clip. The goal of saturation isn't to overwhelm like what this would do. It's just to make it look more appealing to look at and make the colors stand out. And we don't do this for all the videos that we create. It's mostly just for this video was a summer video. And when you think of summer, you think bright colors, fun times, all that kind of things. Uh, but typically, we don't always use that. Um, let's see, what else can I show you? I could show you our text tools that we use. Uh, we downloaded a couple of things from pixelfilmstudios.com for different texts that we use. So these are what I call our fancy fonts. It's got all these cool little just font things that... You don't typically see everywhere, which I think I like that because then our videos aren't like everyone else's. So these are our fancy ones. These ones are the more fun ones that we use for challenges and whatnot. Pretty self-explanatory. A lot of these are just kind of like this is supposed to be like Dora or whatever, and I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like the Power Power Puff Girls. This is like the Lion King, don't know what we'd use that for. John and Terry is supposed to be like Tom and Jerry. Uh, yeah, Spongebob, little thing. Obviously some of these aren't really usable, but we do like to use this one. You've probably seen, you can put an image. Uh, let's see if I can stop that. I'll just put this in. You can put an image in here, so we usually find a transparent image. So for spot the difference, we put the magnifying glass emoji. Uh, yeah, that one's fun to use sometimes when it makes sense. Um, we've used this one before. All that fun stuff. Um, for some of the videos you may notice we try to, use, try to do fancy intros. And we just find some exciting clips that we think best represent the video. And I'm just going to go back to the actual project for our other video. So that I can just kind of show you. This is what I mean by fancy intro. I'm going to mute it because I don't really want the noise to be distracting. Uh, but we had, I guess, the basic clips first. And then we kind of had like a beat drop, I guess you could call it. And then it went to like a bunch of bright, colorful, exciting clips. Other than just like the hike. So, yeah. The point of the intro that has the clips in the video is just to intrigue the viewer and get them excited to watch the rest of the video because if they like this, then they'll probably like the rest of the video. Um, then obviously, this is typically how the order, I guess, goes for our videos. Uh, we have sometimes fancy intro. It doesn't always work if we're doing a challenge. We can't really do that. Then we have us talking right here. And then we have the whole video, I guess. And then we have the end of the video, and sometimes, oh, and then we have the end card, obviously. And then sometimes we have bloopers at the end, 
Not all the time, but we do sometimes. Um, what else can I show you? If you are curious as to what the music we use and how we find actual songs that we can use without having copyright infringement, what we do is we go to SoundCloud and then, what's a random song? I'll just do Budapest because nothing on my bookmarks reminded me about that song. And then you go to Tracks over here. And then where it says to listen to, you click on that and then click to use commercially, which means that you can use a song one and like make money from it so all of these songs would be okay to use so like some of them aren't even what you're looking for but this one would be what you're looking for the bad thing about this well not a bad thing but I guess what kind of stinks about it is sometimes the song that you're looking for isn't available to use commercially like usually you find remix remixes that you can use commercially and sometimes that's not the case sometimes you have to change your mind on what song you're going to use, which happened a few times when we were making this video. As far as just like adjusting a clip, when we put a clip on, we always try to make sure that the audio sounds right, so sometimes to fix that, you need to click on it, go over here to audio, and right here where it says flat, you can change that to voice enhance. And if that doesn't quite do it, we click on this. And I honestly don't know what any of this stuff means, but I just mess around with it until I think the sound sounds alright. One of my favorite parts about Final Cut Pro is the effects. It has a lot of cool effects that you can just add to the video. And I just I think it's fun. And we don't use a lot of these. Sometimes we use the light effects. Or we use this one sometimes when it's like relevant to use. We try not to use random effects to that like don't make any sense. Uh, we used this one on the what was it? It was the video that we just did. It was Truth or Dare. We used it on this one when Megan was vlogging because I feel like it made it more vlog style. But we don't use this to actual vlogs because that'd be a little distracting. Um, there's a sensor. We don't use this too often. I don't know if we've ever used it. But, I don't know. Could be handy sometime. Um, what else do we have? Sorry if this isn't, like, that interesting. I don't really have a certain way I edit. I just make each video how I like it to be. So I'm just kind of showing you around, giving you some tips. Um... Focus. It's kind of weird. This one's a blur. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Megan and Maggie look fine, and then there's me. <laughs> okay, moving on from that. Um, we use Kaleidoscope sometimes. Um, how we use that, I'll show you. We put that on the clip. And right now it looks really weird. You can't even tell what you're looking at. So you go over here. We're going to go back to video on the top. And where it says mix, you drag that down. And you can affect the opacity, opacity of the image. So probably do like that or something. This would be a weird clip to do a kaleidoscope on. But, you know. Um, we don't use this kaleidolite one. I just don't like it that much. I oh, use this sometimes for our intros. It's called Letterbox. It's how you get black bars on your videos. See that like cinematic, I guess, thing. Um, hold on. I want to try something. This is what the video. Because sometimes we like to add the Letterbox to. I'm on the wrong one. We sometimes we like to add Letterbox to our intro clips. So we're gonna see. What that would have looked like. Uh, it might look a little weird. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight all of these clips. Oh no, I'm missing one. Highlight all of those. Oh, I keep missing one. 
Did I get all of them? Yes. And then it's a control click. Yeah. Control click and then click new compound clip. It makes it all one clip. So now it's just all one. And now I'm going to add letterbox to that whole thing. And see how that looks. Might be a little weird because it might cut some stuff off. But we'll see how that looks. Let me know. Do you think we should have added letterbox or not? I don't know. I think it looks fine either way. It kind of cuts it off right there. Yeah, it makes it look cinematic though, so that's why we like to use it sometimes. And that's kind of cut off, but yeah. So that's that that we sometimes like to use. Um, this is a common effect that you've probably seen in a lot of YouTubers' stuff. It's another effect. This is basically why, like, all the effects is are why Final Cut Pro is a great editor because. They're just effects that really aren't anywhere else. That looks weird with the one thing. And they have like rain. Well, we should have made it look like it was raining. Hold on. I'm going to undo the compound clip that we just did. I'm going to make it look like it's raining when we're hiking. So like, right? I mean, any of these basically. Oh wait, no, we don't want that. We want the rain. So we're just going to add that to all the clips. Now I'm just kind of having fun. Uh, I wouldn't actually do this in a video. It's kind of cool. It's really hard to use this tastefully though, because sometimes it's like, really, it's not raining. Nice try though. So it won't that bad though. Um, what else do we have? Okay, I don't understand this effect. It does not look good. If you understand it, let me know. This is cool. Obviously, there's not a way we could probably use this, but I think it looks cool. If you were doing a short hem or something that needed a security camera. Um, simple border. I don't think we've ever used that. I don't get what these are, though. I get it makes it look like that can see it makes like it look like wrinkled paper or something or plaster but I don't get why it says text so yeah um I'm just gonna all right those are all audio effects we don't use audio effects uh this is really all I can think to show you on Final Cut Pro I mean they have generators which are just background colors uh these little fancy things that I never use that often I think we didn't, no we didn't use that we used something else um oh we also have basically the biggest thing that I can tell you about I guess I'm doing quotes right now that you can't see our editing secret would definitely be Final Cut Pro generators and the Pixel Film Studio texts and effects that we use. So we have this, and then we also have the light leaks that we used uh, in Cheer Expectation, or not Cheer Expectation versus Reality, and Gymnastics Expectation versus Reality. We use that. And we also have these little ribbon things that we just used in our last video. So yeah, uh, hopefully this video was kind of interesting and you understand a little more about how we edit our videos. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.